Now, France's far-right politician Marine Le Pen has met with Italy's Deputy Prime Minister Matteo Salvini in Rome this morning. The two politicians, both staunch Eurosceptics, discuss their plans for what Le Pen has called an alternative Europe. We're not fighting against Europe. We're fighting against the European Union, a system that's become totalitarian. And we're fighting against the EU precisely to save the real Europe. Let's get more now from our correspondent Claudio Lavagna, who's in Rome. Claudio, what came out of this meeting? Well, talks, as you may expect from the leaders of two Eurosceptic parties, they painted a picture of a catastrophic Europe, as uh, Marine Le Pen called it, uh, that was uh, based and founded on failed promises that led to uh, a catastrophe uh, like rising unemployment, rising uh, poverty. Uh, and uh, they said that there is a much need of a change because of it, well, a change that uh, Matteo Salvini during that press conference called a revolution that will start, according to the two leaders, with the European Parliamentary election uh, that are scheduled for next May and will continue with the creation of a movement or a party, uh, a European-wide movement that will uh, gather a group together, all the nationalist and populist parties across Europe that are doing so well right now. Uh, also, they named names. Both of them uh, essentially pointed the finger at, uh, in particular, the president of the European Commission, Jean-Claude Juncker, and uh, the European Commissioner for Economic Affairs, Pierre uh, Moscovici, as to all the culprits of the current disaster, as they called it, in uh, Europe. With Matteo Salvini going as far as saying that the two are uh, enemies of the happiness of Europeans who are barricaded in the bunker of Brussels, uh, wait, uh, refusing to leave their posts. Of course, I am quoting Salvini there. Well, Le Pen also named Juncker as uh, an and uh, Moscovici is saying that they are responsible for insisting on a perverse economic disaster policy uh, that has been abandoned by everywhere, uh, everyone else around the world apart from Europe. Well, difference in tone there uh, talks, but they both agreed on one thing, that they want to see a different uh, Europe after the elections of May 2019, a Europe that in which Brussels will hand back power to sovereign nations, Talks. Claudio Levanga reporting there from Rome.